Hi, welcome back to Q&A. My name is Sarah Archer and today I am joined by Janet Bonija. Janet is the manager of functional consulting here at RF Smart. And if you've done an RF Smart for AX implementation, you probably know and love Janet. Um, I'm excited that Janet is here because there's really not a better person to discuss the AX to D365 transition. And in fact, when I decided I wanted to talk about this topic, Janet was recommended by three different people. So she knows her stuff. Um, so we're just going to jump into our discussion. Janet, thank you so much for being here today. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for inviting me. Well, let's just go ahead and get started. Can you tell me why someone would consider making that transition from AX to D365? So D365 is the cloud solution that Microsoft has available for those clients that use AX. Um, and technology is really important. So most of the people are searching for moving to new technologies. That will be, I think, the first main reason why the clients are going to move to D365. With the latest versions of AX available, um, you know, why would they want to make that kind of transition, staying on premise versus moving to the cloud? The good thing of staying, uh, is selecting the cloud solution, D365, is that you are going to be updated more often and you will be able to have all those new functionalities that D365 is going to provide. If you stay on premise, you are not forced to be updated. So you can stay in the same version for years and you will not have the adventures of all these new features that they add to the software. So uh, maybe you decide to update in uh, two or three years, but you're losing that flexibility of having new functionality. So if I'm a customer and I'm on AX, how can I be really prepared for D365? So how do our customers know they're ready and what's the first thing that they need to understand before they make this jump? So the first thing our customers need to know and understand is um, the main difference, of course, is how the technology is going to be running. So right now they're used to on prem where they have a, a local server and they have everything in house and they can manage it the way they want to. When they move to D365, they're going to be working in the cloud. So they have to be prepared to be uh, following the rules that Microsoft is going to provide them. So there's going to be some downtime. Uh, every time they have to do an update and Microsoft will put them in the also specific time, time frames and deadlines to do the upgrades. So that's one of the first things they have to be aware of. Then the second thing is how fast they want to move with the technology. As I mentioned before, the more updated you are in technology, the, the more new features you're going to have from the software. But if they have been using AX, a lot of the uh, actual functionality that they have, they're going to see it in D365 but they're going to have also new functionality. When business grow, it's important to also grow in your technology. So I know that change can be really scary for some customers, um, but change can be really good, right? Um, and I know that you've had experiences with customers. Is there a story around that that you would want to share? Oh, yes, definitely. We have um, a couple of clients that already moved from uh, different versions of AX to D365 as we also have new ones that are starting that process during this year. So it's one of our most recent ones moved from AX 2012 and they moved to D365. And they not only moved with the software and with our smart, they also move a little bit more ahead with their technology. For example, they moved from using handhelds to tablets because in a tablet they were able to run a D365 and at the same time have our smart available. With only one piece of, of equipment, they can run both things. So Janet, I've decided that I want to move from AX to D365. I'm an RF Smart customer. What does that process look like for me? So the first thing we talk with the customers is to understand if they're going to stay in the same functionalities that they actually have with AX. So like, for example, um, D365 has new features like Advanced Warehouse, where they can have uh, new tools like license plates and different things. So that's the first thing we have to sit down with our customer. Are you staying in the same methodology you're using or you're planning to move to those advanced tools that um, D365 allows you to have? That's the first step. Following that step, uh, then we understand if any of the functionality they actually have has been upgraded, meaning it has new options or new functions, or we have improved our functionality. So we sit down and explain to them what are the main differences between what they have and what will they will, what they will new, now have 
when they move to D365. Um, after that, it's just sitting down and making a planning to define dates and start the process step by step, installing the new version, testing everything, and uh, adding any new functionality, training them, and finally helping them and supporting them when they go live. Some of the most valuable content that I think that our team puts together for these kinds of transitions are release notes. So when a customer decides that they want to change, um, what do you do? You sit down, you talk through that process. Can you just give me a little bit of insight into what that looks like for you? Yes, definitely. And our, and our um, support page has all that information. Every time we switch to a new version or, or we release a new version, we have release notes, which provides uh, our customers with the information of what we added to those different workflows. Maybe the ones that they already have and they're using, or maybe it's the, the ones that they are planning to use or now they can use and take advantage because they have a new version. That's so valuable to our customers, right? That they're able to just see everything in one place. Here's what's updated, here's what's new. Uh, speaking of things that might be updated, the D365 functionality includes a mobile solution. And so I wanted to know, why do you hear, what are things that you hear from our clients about why they choose to stay with RF Smart? So as I mentioned before, there's two paths in D365 that our clients can take. Uh, the basic functionality of inventory management and what they call what D365 calls the advanced warehouse. Uh, this embedded uh, mobile device that is included in D365 will only be available if our clients select the advanced warehouse. But some of our clients don't have such a big warehouse or they're not, they don't need all that functionality. So they will lose that, the opportunity of using that mobile device. So that's one of the first reasons why they stay with us. And there's other functionality stuff that we add as, um, as part of our software that the mobile device doesn't include and that also help us with our customers staying and using our tools. How does RF Smart help in this process? What do we provide resource-wise? How, how is our team prepared to help? What are some of the things that we can do to help make this transition smooth? That's a great question, Sarah. So one of our best things is that our resource are really prepared. Uh, our team, my team, the team that works with me in the AX implementations for RS Smart, is they are, have been working for over 10 to 12 years and knowing AX. So they know AX before they know RS Smart, which that is a big asset for our customers. Um, we also have certifications. So uh, AX provides certifications when you are an AX um, functional person, fun functional person. So like I have my certifications and I will be soon taking the final test to get my D365 certifications. So all our research are really prepared. We know what we're doing. We're there to help our customers. We like to let them put our software to work for them, not, um, not providing exactly what we want them to do, but we, are, we will run it with their pace and asking them what, how can we work for them. Do you know what I think is, is one of the most valuable things that RF Smart provides to our customers is just the fact that our team is not just RF Smart experts. It's like you said, they're also AXD365 experts. These are people who know the software, who know what they're talking about, and they are crazy for their customers. And so they want to help them succeed in this transition, um, as well as the fact that our software is just fully compatible with this uh, with D365 or AX. Um, Janet, thank you so much uh, for giving us those insights today. One thing that really stood out to me is just how prepared the RF Smart team is to help our customers feel confident while they make this transition. Uh, for those of you who are watching, if you have questions for Janet, you can reach out by emailing info at rfsmart.com. Uh, thank you for watching and Janet, thank you for being here. We'll see you guys all again really soon. Bye.